Today's muscle car flashback, a rare 77 Pontiac Can-Am. Some of you muscle car fanatics may argue that Pontiac had the first muscle car. The GTO first hit the streets in 1964. 348 horsepower and 389 cubic inches meant that each pony was only pulling about 10 pounds of car. The legacy continued in 1969 when the judge was born. It was stylish, had a high displacement engine, and a nice tuned suspension. Pontiac was definitely on a roll. In 1977, they gave it another shot and rolled out the Can-Am, promising it would be the new GOAT. Originally, 5,000 Le Mans were slated to be converted into Can-Ams, but only about 1,300 were ever made due to a broken spoiler mold. Complete with a Turbo 400, tuned up suspension, ducktail spoiler, and a shaker hood, it looked as if this rare production would go down in muscle car history. A set of stripes, rally wheels painted to match, blacked out grille and louvered quarter windows gave this car a ton of muscle car style and appeal. The sporty package had a massive 6.6 .6 liter motor, a great starting point for any muscle car, but on the Can-Am, this is where all that muscle came to a grinding halt. The 400 cubic inches were strangled back by EPA regulations, along with rising insurance and fuel costs to a mere 200 horsepower. But that's cool with Mike Cunningham. Due to the low production number and lack of interest in 70s cars, there are only about 200 of these still known to exist. And Mike, well, he digs on 70s cars, and this one still turns a lot of heads. Once they see what the car's all about, then the interest picks up Mike snagged this car a few years back for under 20 grand, and it was in stellar condition. This is an all-original, unrestored Can-Am, and it is immaculate. Not to mention, it only has 29,000 miles on the clock. Compared to performance cars today, yeah, this car is pretty much a slug, but you gotta remember that in 1977, the Corvette only had 170 horsepower, and even the Camaro Z28, well, it only had 180, so the 200 horsepower Can-Am was a beast, relatively speaking. In 1977, it was one of the top dogs out there. Now, a lot of you hardcore 93-octane burning purists may think that if it doesn't have 400 horsepower, then it's not a real muscle car but you gotta keep an open mind to a car like this. It's stylish, rare, and has the potential for some serious upgrades. And with 60s cars getting harder to find and even harder to afford, cars like this are an ideal platform for a resto mod. All they need is a little muscle. Stick around, we're back on our Le Mans right after the break.